Good day to you all and welcome back to the Murder of Sonic, um, where we're going to give it another try with the mini game. We're gonna think, we're gonna thunk, we're gonna think thunk all over the place. We're gonna avoid the meteors this time and the spikes and the spikes. Very important to avoid both. Pro gaming. Ugh. Nope, nope. No! Ah! Okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll give it another try. That one's a bit of a... I'm hoping it's a tough one and not just me. <laughs> okay, give that another try. So far, so good. I probably shouldn't jinx myself. Just think like Sonic does. Chili dogs. Go fast. More chili dogs. Friendship. Building. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I was going to say beating up elderly scientists. Bigfoots and I found a hid hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Bigfids. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit, but, um, well, so Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious, so Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car, and on the way out dropped the buddy out for the dining car. Uh... Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. A murder theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. <laughs> Seems Tail and I, Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow is not going to talk, then I'll humour you once again. If Shadow travelled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Bigfoot, <laughs> Bigfoot, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, um, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because, um, Espio was reading. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at the table reading. Ugh. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever game I left the saloon car, I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I'd ever believe you, you're currently the my number one suspect. I was going to say suspect number one, but okay. Why are you even searching for Espio, huh? Going to murder him? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's, Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. Bigfoots and I can further validate Shadow's claims. Well, we can do what? Bigfoots, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving away, giving keys away? Um, the keys that we got? Shadow's key ring with two daily keys, always thought it looked... This one? That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Oh, more thinking. Okay. Chili dogs. Beating up Eggman. Friendship. Saving the day. You gotta go fast. Ooh. Okay, okay. 60? I just saw that. Oh, okay. Oh. I get distracted. I get distracted. Time to be riddled with ADHD. Oh, I guess it is. I just hyper focused myself into 71 <laughs> points. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way! Well, what if his own key? Could one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. <laughs> Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? Hmm. If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could we have for locking all the doors? 
huh, she's right. The, her theory is strong. Her murder theory. Tails and I recently haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Bigfoot and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? Just say the answer. This is probably why your bird friend left you. First, Amy and I have... First, Amy, I just have one question for you, if I can speak straight. Huh? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Uh. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Bigfoots? Uh, yes, Charles? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car looking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. From the murder? Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not as big vids. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Uh. Uh, what? Excuse me. Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. I have privilege. You know it's my birthday, right? Have I mentioned it's my birthday? I have a cake. Check out my cake. It's a birthday cake. It's for how many years I'm old? Uh, this many. I'm holding up my fingers. You guys can't see my fingers. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh. Hi. How dare. Bigfoot's show me the evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away, but, um, why? What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? As the, the tickets, because Trash kind of wanted to... No, it doesn't. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that's the tickets. That feels right. Phew. Just organize my thoughts. Oh, just organize my thoughts. In the process of organizing. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. May not get this one. Oh. Power up, chili dogs. Uh, I should have jumped for that one. Shui. Oh. I feel like I was one bad move away from not getting that. You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What's that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. Yeah, it's the ticket. It's it's of a band's ticket website. Toyos, don't. <gasps> ah, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I, have gone to, I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was the paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printer of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because... Um... I mean, obviously, he's a big Hot Honey fan, so he knows it's the present to get. But he was getting it for Amy because he's a good friend. He's a good little boy. He deserves a little pat on the head. He's a good little boy. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Which is today, for I'm the birthday girl? Yeah. I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. <gasps> Sh Shadow! Oh, wow, that, that broke my voice. <laughs> <laughs> my voice has been murdered. It's the murder of Sonic and my voice. Oh, wow. 
one second just to cook drink of water. <sighs> mm. Okay, continuing on. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the home page by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. You some kind of detective or something? I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder. <laughs> Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. Ah, <laughs> sorry. That's all a detective's job, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> when I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work, obviously. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. Birthday key. This key opens any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with these. The plan's fatal... Fatal? The plan's fatal for... <laughs> the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accuse you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and make it up... And to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, don't know if... Too late. It's happening. Eee! I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Ah, <sighs> fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached its end. We can now go home. <laughs> I love this face. Mm, I'm grumpy, Amy. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibi credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who was the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Huh? But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more, ha we're more than happy to have you both. Bigfoot, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Ooh, well, we have to make this a bit of a longer episode. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then. Let's do it. Rock and roll. Um. Come on, to the conductor's car. I'm going to take that as we've done everything here. I wonder what we'll find there. The conductor, I'm sure. Admittedly, I haven't seen the conductor in a while. I hope he's all right. And off to the conductor's car. Ready to go to the conductor's car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Fade to black. I thought we were on a Mac for a second. Okay. Hands, thingies, cute picture from when, when he was a kid. And something's gone wrong. Should really sort out my evidence before I can continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Oh, wait. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. You moody little kid. Um, hands. No arrows. Conductor thing. Gotta start with this. It's adorable. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here for a long time. After 32 years, he's told he told me he's finally retiring. 
He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Uh, ooh. Oh, oh okay. Vent. Is he sus? A, a vent? Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd, how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, I can fly. Huh. Uh. Oh, the, uh, the tails. Right. Bigfoot's... Urgh. What were you thinking? Got sound systems. Oh, a microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Uh, <laughs> stop beatboxing. I oh I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, you're reaching for the microphone? If you can hear this, your armpits stink. Hmm. Hmm. My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. <laughs> I'm sure they are tails. It was just being silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. I doubt they would have liked the beatboxing any better. I've noticed these screens throughout the train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Control panel next. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I'm a microwave jockey. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Oh, guys. On to the robot hands. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Oh, wow. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is, why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. Uh, bin. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to check this trash bin. I've been validated. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Fair, fair, fair. Um, ooh. Hmm, what's this? Someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. <gasps> hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. Blue dot added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. No, we haven't. Let's let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. I still have a mug to look at. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, we get it. He loves his wife. And nothing else. Talk to Shadow real quick. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's all right. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Fwa ho 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 ho. Hmm. Well, let's. Oh, we're on the twenty-minute mark. We'll, we'll go a couple minutes over. We'll see how far things go or if it's just going to be a quick solve. Okay. Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think? Uh, what do you think, Bigfoot? Ready to solve this case? Uh, I know I said I'd go a few minutes over, but... Uh, I, 
Okay, enough I mean ahhing, I'm committing, we're doing a 30 minute episode, let's solve this case. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Oh, everyone's here. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Bigfords. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Huh? Oh, where is he? Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, that lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him! Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. And the train has so many am amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see. Why? I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. Wait. I missed that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. Okay, Tails is saying, I see why you're a detective outside of this. It's fun. Yay. Yip, yip, yippee. Um. <clears throat> you and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. And you know it. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here that the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. <clears throat> that voice is too similar. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride the train just to relax sometime. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! Uh-huh. Uh. Yeehaw! What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Closing door sound. He's really dead. He's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What? I is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic? Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. <laughs> Wait, Amy. Ah! I knew one of you would take this too far. Uh... Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There is no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? Uh -huh. Uh. This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. I've just lent into giving him a country accent. Same. We're going to figure this out. Figure out exactly what happened in this room, and punish the one responsible with excessive force. S Sonic, he was really hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm riding my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Bigfoot, Bigfoots, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. It wasn't going to be a simple, this is, look, here's the evidence. They actually wanted us to think about it. And I was, but then I stopped halfway through. Okay. Um, lightning round. Okay, can't be Tails with us the whole time. Uh, not Amy. Uh, birthday girl. Um, suspicious people are Espio. Um, Blaze, because while she was going around doing her treasure hunting, Blaze was left alone in the casino. Vector and Knuckles are their own alibi, along with Shadow, who alibied them. So I believe it's between Espio and Blaze. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm just trying to rack my brain now. Um, <laughs> no. Okay, it, it's def I, it has to be between these two. 
SBO we thought was reading and did have that time to get out because I'm pretty sure he would have gotten a key. But, but, now I think about it, Shadow said that he had two spare keys because he wasn't able to give one to Vector or SBO, even though SBO then had a key. Blaze had a key and could go about. Because we've got a key from one of them. Because I was about to say it would be Blaze because he didn't have his key, but I, if I recall, for us to get through the door, we had to use one of their keys. Unless if Amy... I think Amy was actually unlocking everything. May have been... It, it's a 50-50. On the evidence provided... Because Blaze, her alibi was that she had a a winning winning lotto thing. SP was just reading. Uh, it's it's like I'm in the hot seat for who wants to be a millionaire. It's like, is it C or is it is it B? Which one is it? Okay. The weakest alibi, in my opinion, is SBO. So I'm gonna go for that. Let's see what happens. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Uh? Uh? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You accuse an Espio? We already talked about this. The mail is weeding. You have nothing. Restarting Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Bigfits, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Um, we discovered a hidden passage. I was gonna blast through this. I'm excited. Um, Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Bigfoots and I can explain that too, Bigfoots. How did Espio know everything that the train menu in the train menu he was reading? Um Uh the poet's a thing, he's actually a ninja, let's go with that. Espio, Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and, remark and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it, just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. H what? Th that's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time, and... He once sped read the book I was reading just to spell the ending for me. <laughs> I forgot about that. If I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. S since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have known where it known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to find the passage. Bigfoots and I may, may not have been. Bigfoots and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Bigfoots, who he has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage. I want to go with Shadow. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Shadow. That wasn't exactly who I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint. They told us who can see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Who told us... Th oh, who told us that? Um... With that, because I legitimately cannot remember, I'm going to be doing just around, just clicking everyone. Um, so... I, I don't know if we have 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 2 minutes left. 
I will end it here for today. And if it does go a bit long, I'll just give my thoughts on the game. Uh, wait, I, if it goes a bit short, I should say. So with all that rambling out of the way, uh, we will end it here. Um, thank you very much for watching and make sure you drink plenty of water and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.